Find out how much money California has sent out so far on the Golden State stimulus, how the war of wages on child tax credits, and why economists are now weighing in, and how Republicans are now talking about a forced stimulus check. And one comment I thought was interesting, it says, just uh, raise minimum wage and we won't have a problem. I wonder what that means. <laughs> that, that was awesome. It's like, wow, this is like, a, you know, a moment. Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you're having a just spectacular, superb Sunday. I'm tailgating today. Yes, I'm going to watch the Raiders game. My buddy's taking care of me. $75,000 seats. So you guys will get to see that in the unemployment section. I'm going to feel a little like AOC because I didn't pay for them. This is your stimulus check, second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, and fourth stimulus check, executive action, executive order, and stimulus package update for Sunday, October 10th, 2021. Yes, the Raiders are playing uh, Chicago today. My goal in these videos is to give you the best information to access government and money for yourself, loved ones, and of course, your business. So also, down below, I have a lending platform called Capital Velocity, we lend money, and uh, we got 75 banks, a incredible lending platform, credit lines up to $5 million. It's for businesses. It's not a personal uh, finance company. It's for businesses. Stay tuned to the channel for personal finance, real estate, stock market, crypto, and other investments to generate your income, save you loads of money. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Why? You could win $2,000. All you do is subscribe, like, and comment. That's it, and you're entered to win. Also, grab my real estate program, $99 course, $10,000 worth of information. I spent $45 million making all the mistakes so you don't have to. When to buy, how to buy market cycles, and how to not even use your own credit. It's only 99 bucks for a $10,000 course. I think it's a pretty amazing deal. People get it, love it. The first couple of videos in the description are free. And also grab your Weeble stock. Two stocks valued up to 2300 bucks. Deposit 100 bucks because the, the stocks will be worth more. But first, the first batch of Golden State stimulus hit the bank accounts of California residents on October 5th, Governor Gavin Newsom, who survived the uh, re-election ca uh, campaign that he had, right, has sent out $480 million worth of stimulus checks to Californians who started to receive the next round of that $600. Yes, the next round. So fourth and a fifth stimulus check. 330,000 of, um, of these funds will hit accounts via direct deposit and another 375,000 will hit mailboxes as paper checks. Yep, snail mail and paper. Yeah, we still do that. Some of these recipients are getting up to 1,100 based on how many eligible dependents they have. Remember, your state could do the same. California is not special. They didn't get more money. Well, they did, but technically. But per person, you should have money in your state. So make sure you pressure your politicians. Although without the pandemic, California would have sent out 2.33 billion. Yep, 2.33 billion in pandemic-related aid once the Golden State stimulus checks all go out. If you don't have your check yet, it's recommended that you log into the account at the myftb.gov in order to track them. That's myftb.gov for your tracking of that check. Meanwhile, more than 400 economists signed a letter supporting the expanded child tax credit. They must have kids, right? The most, for the most part, they agree that it would really help parents. And with that said, they have almost the idea of the working requirements <laughs> tossed into the mix. Yep, that is uh, my beautiful mother-in-law in the background who just delivered some food. Uh, I'm going to say that again. For the most part, you know, they agree that it's really helped parents. And with that said, they oppose the idea of the working requirements being tossed out into the mix. So they're not going to require that. Jacob Golden, an associate professor of law at Stanford University and expert in taxes and low income households, said, quote, the key assumption of what the employment <laughs> I'm sorry. There's so much going on in the background here. I, I'm going to cover. The key assumption of what employers affect will be really not credible. So sorry. Do we really believe that millions of parents will quit their jobs to live on an extra $2,000 or $3,000 in child tax credit payments? If you have a kid, you know what I'm talking about. 
Probably not going to happen. However, one Chicago economist named Bruce Myers said, quote, the proposed expansion would get rid of a strong work incentive under the prior CTC. It would essentially eliminate a tax credit that encourages work and replaces it with something that disencourages work. In the end, those at the bottom may not be better off, end quote. Couldn't agree more. Meyer ran an analysis of the child tax credit and estimates that up to 1.5 million parents could leave the workforce because of the payments. That's about 2.6% of all working parents. Interesting dilemma, right? Cause and effect, how people evaluate it. Golden noted that other countries that have child tax credits like Germany have higher labor force participation rates than the U.S. This means that the payments don't drive people out of the workplace. So why the work requirements? You got to ask yourself. If research shows in other places that it doesn't do that, why would it do it here? Even in Myron's own research, he found that the child tax credit would reduce child poverty by 22% and that after people supposedly left the workforce, which probably won't happen, the real number is 34%, which is a huge success. I'd love to hear in your comments what your thoughts are on this. I don't think there should be a re work requirement. I just, I, you know, why, why can't we just think people are pretty decent overall? Finally, let's talk about the forced stimulus check, which state, which Senator uh, Leader, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said in support, is supported by many of the Republicans after all, believe it or not. However, this conversation coincides with the conversation about the debt ceiling and how that will affect things moving forward. McConnell said, quote, this will mute Democrats' excuses about the time crunch that created and give the unified Democratic government more than enough time to pass a standalone debt limit legislation without reconciliation, end quote. The U.S. faces a debt ceiling crisis right around the corner, and Democrats and Republicans have yet to reach an agreement on the viability of a solution. Still, though, McConnell has spoke with those on the right side of the aisle, and they seem to be inching closer to, uh, to a deal, on a, and also including a forced stimulus check. All that needs to happen to tackle the debt ceiling crisis with both parties will be to reach an agreement soon. Then who knows, we might be getting that four stimulus check sooner than we realize. Could happen. Now it looks brighter than ever. It's kind of weird that the Republicans are the ones that are squeaking it in. Well, that's your stimulus check, second stimulus check, your executive action and stimulus package update for Sunday, October 10th, 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy weekend and for sticking around, please leave a comment with your favorite sports team. Who do you like? Who are you rooting for? I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I love you. Wow, we got some eggs. You know, I've worked my off. I will die for my audience. I don't want to be someone that they, they feel they can't touch. People will call you out. Oh, all day. Yeah. They call me out all day. I can type in the search bar in Google, Raider, and then, uh, uh, Raider!